Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to find a image on Google and then trace it in the Silhouette Studio. I do have the Designer Edition. Um, I believe it's worth it to get it. It's just easier to import files and it's super cheap. It is, I think it saves you a lot of time. So what we'll do first is we'll open Internet Explorer. Okay, and then just any any item, picture, image you want to sh search, you just type it in here. Um, let's see. Live, laugh, love. I have SVG files, but I'm just going to do live, laugh, love. So you click your images. Okay, and there's a lot of images here. Like, let's see this one here. See this uh, 800? See the uh, 800 by 800? I usually try to find the ones that are the highest up because the better resolution it is, the better, it, easier it is going to be to trace. So what I'm going to go with this, and you just click it. And this can work with any image that you find on Google, as long as it's um, good enough quality. And then you're going to click View Image. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right-click it, Save Picture As. And what I do is I'm just going to save it to the desktop because it's easier. Going to it's going to be easier for me to go back and find it. And I'm going to change this to Live Laugh Love. And then I'm just going to save it. Okay, so now I can close out my Internet Explorer. Okay, and now I'm going to open up my Silhouette software. Okay. And I, I have mine set at 12 by 12. You can change the dimensions if you want to. But mine's set at 12 by 12, and that's the biggest that the Cameo will cut, of course, with a mat. So what we're going to do is go to File, Open, and then Desktop, because that's where I saved my image. Here's my image, Live, Laugh, Love. Click it, and we're going to click OK, and it's going to pull the image in. Right now, all it is is just an image. You, this is not a silhouette file. It will not cut like it is now. So what we're going to do, up in the top right area, there's a little box right here. It says Open Trace Window. It's yellow with the, it looks like a blue butterfly in it. What you're going to do is you're going to click that. Then you're going to click the, where it says Select Trace Area. Click that. And a little X will pop up, or it looks like kind of like a crosshairs. And what you're going to do is you want to, when you move these crosshairs, you want to make sure you get the whole entire image that you're wanting to trace in those, in the, see it creates a box, and you want to get that whole image in there, just like that, and you let up, you drag and then let up, okay? And then the part that's yellow is what's going to trace, and if you see the black, see the black in these? Um, this image, if I trace that like it was, those black spots would trace as well, and we don't want that. So what we need to do is we need to go over to the right, halfway down the column there, it says high pass. We want to uncheck the high pass, and then it fills it all in yellow, and that's what we want. Okay, now what we do, over to the right again, above high, where you unchecked high pass, there's trace, trace outline, trace and detach. If we click the trace outline, all it's going to do is it's going to trace the outline and see like the O, the E, the G, the A, and the E did not trace and part of the love Chinese symbol inside that did not trace. So I'm going to click the undo button up at the top in the middle. It's a little, a little back button to undo and we're going to click it twice. Okay. 
So there it is. So now we're back to this. So I'm going to recheck, uncheck, high pass over to the right, fills in, and now what I'm going to select above that is the trace, where it looks like a double butterfly over to the right. So click that, and now it's going to have everything traced for me. Now I can move this image out of the way. I'm going to select the image that I pulled in, and I'm just going to delete it. And now you have a complete, a completed silhouette file. You can cut this as it is. Okay, you can move it, or you can move it, you can change the size. You can change the size with the little white blocks. You can stretch it, pull it down, however you want to do it. But how I like to change it is the size is up to the top, you'll see a black A. And then three over from the A is this little square thing with two arrows open the scale window. So we're going to click that and then down at the bottom you'll see scale and then you'll see W and H which is width and height and then you'll see lock aspect. What lock aspect is is if it's going to keep these dimensions that are there. So if I change this to 10, the width to 10, then the, then the height is going to change along with it just as it is. But if I uncheck that, I can change the width to 9, and then I can change the height to 9, which it's going to be in proportion. Is what it, see, I can change it like that. So we'll change this back. Change this back. There you go. So that's, the, that's how the original one is. And then you can go ahead and save this and keep it as a file and it's ready it's ready to cut so that's how you import an image from Google and trace it in order to make it a silhouette file I'm going to um, try to do some more videos on how to so please subscribe and I hope you like this video give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching